what is up guys, it's Retro Gaming Veteran back here with another Pokemon Yellow Let's Play. So today we're going to do one of the only other two things to do in Cinnabar Island, and that is go into the Cinnabar Mansion. Uh, backstory on Cinnabar Mansion is apparently it burned down, and in here there are a bunch of clues to what happened. And right off the get go we run into something. So, yeah, the red seat. Eh, eh, we won't fight that. We won't fight that. Ooh, can't escape, huh? I don't really want to fight it. I'm going to save my PP. But, yeah, like, if you haven't gotten a good fire type, this is pretty much where you can start. Um, I don't... I'm a little vague on the running around. So, there's an escape rope, so I apologize. So, I do believe we have to flip the switch. Who would? Exactly. And I think there might be an item. No? Okay. I hear someone screaming at me right now. Is there an item down here? No? Okay. Well, enough item hunting, I guess. Uh, I don't think there's anything to do on the first floor. Switch will actually unlock. If you do that switch again, it will unlock that bottom, but I think that's just a way to get out. See, like, I mean, here's like Growlithe, like a level 34. Should have that right around now, so. Alright, so roar, and then make it run away. That's exactly what I wanted. So, uh, there are poison types in here. So. At least I think there's poison types in here. I know there is in red and blue. Why won't you guys let me run? I don't... I could use a repel, but I don't want to, because I want to see, you know, I want you guys to see what's actually you can catch in here. I'm just going to have to wax you, aren't I? So, I guess we just have to stomp the death. Well, we'll rock steady, I don't care. Do it. That's not cool. Well, if I want another rat, I'd catch it right now, but... I think that's why I didn't want to fight it. It's only 500. But, we'll do that, then we'll go up this ladder here. See, here's Grimer, you know, another good example of a pretty decent poison type you can pick up around in here. I like I remember from Grimer, that's cool. I can't get out, this whole place is one big puzzle. It, it is, honestly, I mean, for like, I mean, it's easy to figure out once you go through it, but... Oh, Charmander. But, I mean, when you're, when you're first a kid and you're playing this for the first time, gets to be kind of like, where do I go, what do I do, and there's one spot in here, like, and I'll end up showing you guys that it's, it's hit or miss, so, hopefully I get it on the first try, but, yeah, Charmy, that's good, but, yeah, this is a good place to raise up your water type, uh, your rock type, anything like that. Say so, three thousand dollars. All right, I think we hit this switch. That may open this up up here. Oh, cute little rat attack, a level forty. Oh, well, if you wanted a high level rat attack, there you go. Super fangy. Don't you 
kill off Rocksteady before I can run. Right. Uh, it's gonna be wild Pokemon. I don't even know if I have any repels. So, let's find out. Uh, ah, I got the, got the normal repels. At least that will, if you haven't figured it out at this juncture in the game, um, the repels will, ooh, they will keep it from the highest level Pokemon that you have up top. You basically will not run into anything that's a lesser level. So, but, yeah, see, okay, this is the part that I was talking about, so see, probably we're going to run into high level right here, because it's going to give me a round, yeah, see, I am going to take that out, because it may just, it may just kill me here, plus this earthquake does its damage. Steady evolved. Yeah, so there we go. Now we got our whole team. We've got them all evolved as fully as they can go. So now we got a Rhydon. So Rhydon is just as versatile as uh, Rhyhorn is. So his stat, his attack, and defense just go way up there. So, and obviously, like, look at that experience, you know, that's one of the downfalls to him, but, I mean, but, ooh, here we go, the mentor once lived here, so, but, um, yeah, I forgot what I was gonna say, I got a bag of mine, alright, see, I hate Rhyhorn's back spray, that's just, that's just that, Ugly. Yeah, one ugly back spray. So that's one thing I wish that they did do with this game is actually like fix some of the back sprites. I know, I mean, they just kind of you know threw it out there as, as was. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But you know, you, you updated the front sprites quite a bit, so you know, I don't see why you can't do the back sprites either. So, uh, that's, that's just me. As a, as a fan from a kid, just nitpicking. So, we got a Voltorb. Oh, Voltorb. We go way back. And we defeated the scientists. Woo, overwhelming. Sure was. See, now if you talk to this guy, so you're stuck, try jumping off over there. One of these two will either take you to where you need to go, or it'll take you back to the beginning. So, what I'm gonna do, first of all, I'm gonna swap you out. The little rock city, you need to go now. So, and we're actually gonna try. Well, let's go down here. I haven't tried going down here yet. So, that takes you into. And Repel has worn off. So. Yeah, we're gonna turn another one back on because I can't keep doing this. So. How close are you to level up? Let's see. A thousand? Nah, we'll hold out. We'll hold out. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try going down this little chute here. See what that does for us. So. Here we 
we go. And I believe that did not take me to where I wanted to go. So, yeah, it took me right back to the beginning. So, let's go up. So, okay. This place is, like, huge. Ah, see, so I wanted to go down the... I wanted to go down the big one. So... Ooh, got a nine tails. See, I like that updated sprite of nine tails. It looks really nice. But we'll just dig. See now, what? If you haven't played any of these Pokemon games at all, uh, Roar won't do anything in the new one or in the old ones. In the new ones, what they'll do is they will they'll swap out a random Pokemon. So. You have the potential of getting the one that, you know, you really don't want up there to go up there against it, so. I mean, it, it's a it's a strategy type move, but I wonder where my partner went. Oh, he's wandering around. I probably beat him. But here we go. Diary, February 6th. Mew gave birth. Hey, I have a Mew. We named the newborn Mewtwo. So, oh, throughout this whole mansion, you will find... Oh yeah, Max Revive, I can use that. You'll find these little diaries laying around to explain what basically happened. And what basically did happen was they took the ever-elusive Pokemon that I have, Mew, and they tried cloning it into a super Pokemon called Mewtwo. There we go, here's another one. Oh, propels protect the world. July 5th. Grenada, South America. A new Pokemon was discovered deep in the jungle. They're basically talking about Mew. Mew. So, Ooh. so, but yeah, they basically tried cloning and cloning and cloning. If you've seen the first movie, they describe it perfectly. So they just kept going and going and going until they got Mewtwo, and then he just went rampant and just destroyed this place. So, just a little bit of a nice backstory for you. Oh, I mean, I went right back where I was started. I didn't want to do that. So, okay. So, basically, if you went down the wrong chute, what you're gonna want to do is turn on another repel. I mean, I wish I got some but, yeah, I don't have any super repels, so, um, yeah, so, hopefully we can get through this with all our repels. I'm gonna come all the way back up here, and hit this. I think so. If I remember right, like, it's been a while since I've gone through Cinnabar Mansion, so I'm sure people are watching this and they're just screaming at me right now about either I'm doing it wrong or, you know, there's a whole lot easier way to do this. That's it, so. Yeah, you can't, like, double up your repels either, so, in case you're wondering about that one, you can't do that. <laughs> so, so uh, normal repels give you 250 steps, so you just can't sit there and use, like, five repels. So, alright, let's go down this big one. And this takes me to a new spot. So. Who are you? There shouldn't be anyone in around here. Well, there is. I'm wandering around an old burned down laboratory. It's called a mansion for some reason, but hey, we'll take it. And there's an electrode. No light bulbs. Those things like to blow up, as you guys know, so I'm just gonna fly away here. I could have digged, but. Yeah, he's gonna blow up. Oh, at least it's 
took him out with that. Yeah, he's got a wheezing. He's got potential to blow up too. So yeah, I guess we'll just dig on him. Then if anything, that would be super effective. So alright. Wheezing problem is solved. This is bad boy. Oh, car bows. See, there's a lot of good items up floating around up in here. You see, this takes you up into the. Uh, I don't want to go down that way, I don't think. That will take you out, basically, if you open it up. Remember that path I was talking about? If you don't do it, yeah. Like, if you just pretty much. You could, like, loop right around and it'll take you right out. It'll take you kind of, like, out one of the classic back, you know, back door Pokemon, but it's actually the front door, but this is where you want to be at, so, let's see what this diary is going to say, diary, September 1st, Mewtwo is far too powerful, we have failed to curb its vicious tendencies, that ain't good, and I wonder if that's going to be a trainer too, so, as soon as I get done with this bad boy, I'm going to have to fight a trainer, TM14. I believe that is Blizzard. So let's find out. Yeah, Blizzard. We're gonna hold off on Blizzard because right now Toka knows Ice Beam. And I like that. So it's got a little bit more PP to it. So it does its job. Full Restore. I like to see that. Let's find a Full Restore for free because they're expensive. all kinds of cool Pokemon up in here. I'm going to beat the crap out of this muck. He's going to be some pretty decent experience points. So, uh, but a lot of people don't like muck, but if you know how to use muck right, he can be a tank. So, just a nice little fun fact if you ever get a hold of a Grimer. So, another thing is, too, is the, uh, I guess it's to go with the Pokemon folklore, is that all the failed attempts of Mew, there you go, I was just about to say, uh, Mewtwo were actually, like, Dittos. That's why Ditto and Mew are the only two Pokemon that can learn to transform, and in here, when you're in this spot particularly, that's where you can run into a Ditto more common. And also, when you get close to Mewtwo, that's where you can run into uh, more Dittos. So, looking for a Ditto, there you go. Cinnabar Mansion's the first place you can get them, but they are at a level 18. But you just, So you are going to have to do some, do some grinding with them. is ideal for a lab. I thought it was a lab. See, that's the thing. That's the like, that's thing I never even understood as a kid. They, you know, they call it a mansion, but yet yeah, it's also a laboratory, and they just kind of did their own thing with it, I guess, and forgot to do it. But what an easy fix for that, you know, not trying to nitpick on the game or anything, but uh, an easy fix would have been to rewrite it, you know, they, because like they rewrote with Lieutenant Surge taking it out from the Kanto Wars, so you could easily rewrote this into, you know, Cinnabar Laboratory, or, you know, I don't know, I'm just, I guess I'm just talking out my ass, don't mind me, so, <laughs> it's, you know, like I said, it's, it's just stuff where, you know, this is, 
ten-year-old version of myself trying to reason with grown individuals in another country, you know, trying to reason with them on why their game is the way their game is and how they can make it better. So, even though this game withstood the test of time, like I said, I mean, I'm here playing it and I'm not complaining at all. I mean, you can't, you can't top the original Pokemon. I mean, there's better versions out there and, you know, got rare candy. Alright. So, and this. No more room for items. We're gonna fix that problem. Uh, why not? Let's use our last refill. TM22. That would be Solar Beam. So, let's look like a Solar Beam. would teach that to Toka, or not Toka, but uh, Snoop, but he's pretty good as it is, but, so we'll use our Carbos here, um, let's go Rock Steady, cause he needs some speed like crazy, so, but this is a secret cave, this is the whole reason why we had to come into this bad boy, other than to learn the, you know, fun parts of the origins of Mew and Mewtwo, all that fun stuff. So, but what we're gonna do is, I totally messed it. Somewhere, I think. Here we go. Man, I'm not having a good, there we go. We're just gonna use an escape rope to get out of here. I mean, basically, how to get out the normal way would be to go back up to that one switch, hit it, and then go out, and then go out the way that I showed you. But, that is Cinnabar Mansion, guys. So, there you go. Uh, in our next video, what we're going to do is the last possible thing you can do in here. And that is go after our Volcano Badge against Blaine. Which is, all, you know, you're going to see how that one goes. It's always a fun time going against Blaine. So, but, uh, alright. So, like I said, I'm going to end the video here. And if you liked the video, feel free to comment, like, share, subscribe. Uh, check me out on all the social media websites. Uh, you know, all that. I try to keep everything updated. You know, fun stuff. Anything I find out relative to Pokemon or retro gaming. You know, uh, E3, all that fun stuff that's coming up. I'm going to try keeping you guys updated as much as humanly possible with it. So, but I'm going to quit my rambling. We'll see you guys in the next video, and until then, happy retro gaming.